Mary Fagan was a 13-year-old child laborer. Just consider that for a moment. She was a 13-year-old child laborer who did a repetitive task. She inserted rubber erasers into eraser tips at the National Pencil Company on Forsyth Street in downtown Atlanta. Day after day, hour after hour, she earned pennies an hour. She had no hope of going to high school, forget about college. And the terrible thing was that Atlanta capitalists and industrialists thought this was good. They thought it was hygienic to have children working in factories. Well, the mothers and fathers of these children knew it was not good. Uh, they knew that it was uh, absolutely wrong, and they were ashamed and upset that they were so impoverished they had to send their children off to earn pennies an hour in factories. So Mary, her life was cut off at age 13. We know very, very little about her. I was very proud in my book that I was even able to quote from a postcard she wrote her cousin, Myrtle Barmore, but that's about the only time we've heard Mary's voice. So she was a child laborer. Uh, as to why we remember this murder, I think even today this murder would get our attention. I mean, you're right, sad to say. Uh, we live in an age now in which atrocity after atrocity is just another piece of news. But the Fagan murder was particularly brutal. She was found in the pencil factory by a night watchman making his rounds. She was so badly beat up that the watchman couldn't determine her race. The pencil factory was filled with pencil grinds and coal dust, and she'd been dragged and battered and all that. And uh, so it was a terribly horrific crime. And then there were these strange notes placed by the body. And I'm just going to read one of them. And if I've got any budding linguistic students out there, I urge you to write a master's thesis about this or a doctoral thesis. But one of the notes read, ma'am, that Negro hire down here did this. I went to make water and he pushed me down that hole. A long, tall Negro black, that who it was, long, slim, tall Negro, I write while play with me. That's absolutely wild and it was on the front page of the Atlanta Journal the next day.